Good evening and welcome to our Lenten Reflection on this Thursday the 11th of March. And tonight our reflection is led by the Reverend John Spriggs. But first, a hymn, Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer. reading from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 11, verse 14. Now he was casting out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the one who had been mute spoke, and the crowds were amazed. But some of them said, He casts out demons by Beelzebul, the ruler of demons. Others, to test him, kept demanding from him a sign from heaven. But he knew what they were thinking, and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself becomes a desert, and house falls on house. If Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out the demons by a Beelzebul. Now, if I cast out the demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your exorcists cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out the demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his castle, his property is safe. But when one stronger than he attacks him and overpowers him, he takes away his armour in which he trusted, and divides his plunder. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In this passage, we see Jesus working a miracle of healing someone who was mute. Today, we would say that it was a mental health problem. Then, as now, there are those who shy away from such problems. The crowd is mostly impressed by Jesus, but there are also detractors. 
He uses Satan's power, they say. We want proof that this power is from God. There are always some people who find it difficult to see the obvious point and to change their comfortable ideas. I'm reminded of the story of the barrister asked to give an opinion on a particularly tricky brief. He simply wrote on the outside of it, No case. Abuse the other party. This points to a very human weakness. People who do not understand something will very often maintain it is unimportant or indeed suspect. But here, Jesus shows us that the mere facts stand in judgment. Why would Satan use evil to overcome evil? Would he try to defeat his own objective? To defeat himself? Hardly. This miracle is either Satan's work or God's work. It cannot be both. You have to decide. You cannot be neutral. Either you are for Jesus, working with God's power to heal, or you are against him. That is why Jesus puts it so plainly. Lent is a time for recognising and facing such issues. And this Lent we have no doubt been encouraged in our reflections by using the centuries-old techniques of prayer, self-discipline, and self-examination. So what is our answer, your answer, to Jesus' boundless sacrificial love illustrated in this act of restoring the mute to health and wholeness of life? For him or against him? There is no middle way. Amen. Amen. And thank you. That's Reverend John Spriggs. Thank you, John. And now our final hymn is The Day Thou Gavest.
Thank you for joining us this evening and please do so again if you can tomorrow night for our Lenten Reflection at 5.30, morning prayer tomorrow at 9 um, and also night prayer at 6 as we have this evening shortly. And our services tomorrow are led by my colleague John Morrison. So good night and good God bless and look forward to catching up with you again on Monday. Bye bye for now. Bye.